hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ty in case you're new here hi thank you so much for coming to my channel to watch my video today it's been a while guys yes i know i know i know i've been so busy but anyway guys i have been posting on tiktok and also on my instagram story so make sure you follow me on those platforms if you are not already i do videos about beauty lifestyle weddings and a little bit of this and that <laughs> so if you like what you see please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you'll be notified of my videos which i upload regularly and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back today to watch another video oh i want to talk about sharon Oja's wedding just a little bit i mean there's just been so much talk about it so i don't really want to go into the details and all that because actually everything is just really what we've heard we've not heard her say anything anyway so but i just want to talk about the issue about this length of time you know that it takes for you to make up your mind about someone and the fact that people have been saying that five to six months i think it was that they courted or dated or whatever term you want to use and then they got married you know so people have been saying it's short and all that so i want to give my own opinion about this and so if that's what you want to see please keep on watching so Sharon Oja is an Hollywood actress. I featured her quite a bit on my channel, actually, in the Skinny Girl in Transit series. There are quite a few episodes of that series on my channel because it had to do with weddings and relationships, which I like talking about anyway. So yeah, I did talk about it quite a bit on my channel. She also has um, her own series on Netflix and she also she's also featured in so many other movies so yeah she's quite popular actually so she come out this year and there's just been so much discussion about what happened why she got married to this guy for certain reasons i'm not going to go into all that details because we already know all that and any time i do a video it's not to gossip it's to actually talk about a particular thing what i want to talk about now is how long it really does take to know you to meet someone and know that he's the right he or she's the right person for you so let's take for example i'm going to use the bible as my reference i'm going to talk about abraham who wanted a wife for his son isaac but he didn't want isaac to marry from the canaanite women that were around where he was you know he wanted someone from his own kinsmen you know so yeah he sent his servant to look for a wife for his son he told him to travel to a certain place and yet yeah to, he told him to look for a wife for his son anyway I'm going to put that Bible passage and Bible chapter, it's Genesis chapter 24, if you want to read it. But yeah, what happened was this servant prayed. He prayed, he was very specific in his prayer. And that's why we need to be really specific. Guys, really hot. I put the fan on, but then I, it was so loud. I had to really record this video. So this is about the third time. So guys, show me some love. I'm just going to have to sweat. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do. The fan is too noisy. Anyway, guys, so yeah. As I was saying, so he had to, he told his, his servant, Abraham, to, to look for a wife for his son. And servant was specific in his prayer. He asked God, he said, God, please, I'm going to go to the well now. And the young maidens are going to come out and they're going to fetch water. The lady to whom I say, can you give me some water? I want her to also say, yes, I'll give you some water and I'll also water your camels. Let that be the lady that you have chosen for my master's son exactly that that's exactly what he asked for and that's exactly what happened rebecca came along and she did exactly that he asked her for water she said yes i'll give you some water i'll draw some water and also draw water for your camels and all that and as it happened rebecca happened to be related to to um, abraham you know so yeah so uh, rebecca went back with him she first of all she she took him to her family and all that the story is there in the bible for you to read and then she they asked her mother asked her would you go with this man she said yes you know i'll go with him and yeah and she went and she met um, isaac the bible says that isaac was comforted when he saw rebecca he had lost his mother not too long before that so yeah they were married you know and i'm not saying that that's the way we should go about it i'm not saying that nowadays that we you just meet someone and then you don't really know the person very well and get married to the person no i'm not saying that but i'm saying that sometimes we place so much emphasis on sp spending five or so years dating someone and then we actually find out that we don't actually really know the person anyway you know because it really depends on how much time you actually spend together it's not about how 
long but how well you know you can know someone for five years which is 60 months and then maybe you see the person once a month or maybe once in two months if you live far away if you're in different towns or cities and you can't really see each other regularly meanwhile someone might date someone for six months and see the person every other day six months 180 days and maybe a person sees the person every other day so that'll be like 90 days and they spend quality time together they go out to watch movies, they go out to talk, they, they sit down and have meals together. So you watch that person and see how the person behaves in any, any situation, how the person reacts to certain things. That is what it's about. It's not about being on the phone for five years, you, the person is dating, you're dating the person, the person is in another country and all that, you know, well, I, I know sometimes it has to happen, but it's not ideal really, that's what I would say anyway. It would be nice to actually know the person well enough, spend time together, you know, and all that. But it doesn't have to be five years. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be one year. Well, it doesn't have to be two years. I would say six months to a year. Six months if you've known the person before. One year at least, you know, if it's a new, totally new person and you know you're spending quality time. I'm not here to give any formula or to give any instructions or anything i'm just giving my own view i just said my husband for a year we've been married nearly 30 years obviously we've had our bumps on along the road every marriage is like that you know but yeah we, we, we are, we're together you know so anyway guys that is my own view that is my own view on on the whole thing so i wouldn't say that five months or five to six months was too short you know for her i don't know how this where they were, whether she was, it was in Nigeria, or whether it was in America. I don't know if they spent quality time together, really. That would be the thing. It's not about the six months, it's like how much time they spent together. And the five or six months that they knew each other, you know, so that's my own view anyway. So let me know what your view is. Let's use the comment section to, to chat. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section, you know. I'm all about happy homes, good marriages, weddings. That's what I like. This year I have five wedding invitations, which is more than I've had in the last three to four years combined, you know. This is a year of weddings, you know. So guys, as I said in one of my videos, don't pitch your tent too high, you know. Don't go and friend zone your partner. Don't go and friend zone your wife. Don't go and friend zone your husband, you know. I put a video as well for you to watch. Let me know your thoughts. I'd like to know what you think about what I've said. Please don't forget to like if you feel that you have a different opinion please feel free to share just be respectful in the comment section and i'll see you in my next one thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next one bye